Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you for the love and support. Um, you're letting me know that my videos are validation or confirmation for the things that you're going through. And it gives you some kind of understanding of things that you know. It gives you comfort to know that you're not also going through these things by yourself. And uh, with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Um, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I'll love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or um, you just want to tell me about your impact of giving, how it impacts your life and heading you towards a positive direction. Also... If the videos just gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a fellow loved one or friends that especially is going through something right now, um, please share. And also, you know, give me a thumbs up and share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and giving me so much love and support. And, you know, knowing this this experience, you know, just meeting you or, you know, virtually meeting you is truly a blessing and it humbles me as well. Sorry, y'all, I'm just so out of it. Um, I just read some really disturbing news. Uh, I used to watch 90210 and I've been having prayers up for Luke Perry. He played Dylan McKay on uh, 90210 from back in the day. He has passed away from a massive stroke and that really kind of caught me off guard. It was just sad, just to know that. But um, I'm sending out prayers and blessings to his family. But um, the video that I have for today is Twin Flame 101. Uh, when your pain has served its purpose, it really has. You know, there's times that we try to understand why we had to go through certain experiences that we went through. Why did things happen the way they happened? Uh, why did these things have to happen to me? You know, you, you question a lot of things like that, you know, and it's not good to really, you know, it's not good to really question universal question God because there's always a reason behind the certain things that we, you know, we experience in life. And, you know, I can actually say, you know, for it took me a long time to be able to know that, um, that things has truly been a blessing to me even though there's heartbreaking things that I've experienced I would never wish that on my worst enemy um being separated from my father it, it took a lot from me I thought I was gonna lose my mind you know people are like Rosalind you are really strong I said look I wasn't always like this you know I still go through my things I mean there's times y'all have seen me at my vulnerable points where I've cried and you know trying to seek peace within my heart knowing there's a bigger picture out there I'm just not able to see it right now you know the universe gives you things as a need to know basis so it's just like when they told me to keep going you know don't be ha you know don't be sad or you know hateful towards people that has put you in certain predicaments trust and believe whatever people put out they get put back so you know you just supposed to pray for folks like that you know pray and know that things are better you know knowing that this has brought me so much strength and knowledge you know about myself about helping others you know and when i like i tell y'all when i every day that you know y'all drop me comments and say hey Rosalind, i resonate with this or Rosalind, thank you for allowing me to see it and look at it this certain different way you know that's for hey oh because that that's what we're supposed to do um being able to help people look at their certain perspectives knowing that we have went through that and we're not supposed to dwell and waddle in it we pose to grieve about a certain situation and then we're supposed to move on and let it go yes trust me i know it's hard to you know just walk away from certain things that has hurt you you know um being adopted it, it was a lot for me because when you're you know you're if you're a person that has adopted that always makes you question like dad did my family not want me did they love not love me you know that those things when through my head but then to know that my father has reached out many 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 times and tried to be in my life and you know my my adopted father and my stepmom you know always try to you know keep that away even though they try to say oh well we told her to come by but it was always indeceptive you know and I had to get over that you know knowing that my father has you know passed away I mean even my family made fun of me about that you know it kept calling me you know antagonizing me after my father died and thought they really got a good kick out of that and you know and that was something i had to really heal from 
Like, I can't believe these folks did that to me. And just to know that even though my dad has passed, you know, we still had that, our connections got a lot stronger than when it when he was when he was here. And just to be able to know that my dad is always with me. Um, to know, you know, I always question like, Dad, is my dad proud of me? And my dad says every day, every day, you know, just to be able to see you being able to put a smile on your face after everything you have went through is a true blessing. Being able to go through that and, you know, it takes, it takes time. You know, I tell y'all this all the time, but I had to be, be able to believe the things I was saying. I can't sit up here and tell y'all this and be feeling a certain way about my situation. You know, yeah, I put it out there that these things happen to me. And it's not just to try to see, you know, people feeling sorry for me. No, I want you to get this concept on what, you know, what has brought me here. You know, what my family has done to me for me to be able to have to get strength and have to forgive them for these things happening to me. Not to keep poking blame at them, because like I said, you know, I don't have to keep on exposing fake people. Pretty soon, sooner or later, they'll end up exposing themselves. And, you know, going through those situations, I know it served that purpose for me to be able to help others. You know, it, you know, even though my, my heartache and pain, you know, cost a lot, but, you know, just to be able to help a lot of other people that are suffering the same, but going through, excuse me, different situations and trying to find their peace of mind, trying to find a way to heal. You know, like I tell you, you know, I, you know, like I say, it's not when I tell y'all something, it's not to have y'all feel sorry for me or anything like that. But I just want to let y'all know, this is what I went through. I had a father that loved the hell out of me, that would do anything to, you know, be in my life. But my family didn't care. It was like they were holding me for ransom, you know, kept asking my dad for money. But even though when he asked, look, I want answers. I want to see my daughter. You know, y'all kept her away from me. You know, you told me she was adopted. You told her that you did tell her but that they, they would tell them certain things him certain things but also tell me different things as well to keep you know keep things going but that was something i had to heal from that was something i had to let go of you know knowing all these things happened to me knowing i had to heal from my family making fun of the fact that my dad is no longer here or me telling my kids that you know you'll never meet your grandfather because he's dead you know, they would tell them stuff like that. And that was a hard pill to swallow that knowing that they would do these certain things to antagonize somebody that, you know, try to make me lose my life and stuff over things because they were trying to get my dad's fortune. That I mean, that's a lot, a lot of pill to swallow, you know, just like when people try to poke and provoke me. And it's just like I tell them, my family has done the utmost that you can possibly do to a person. There's nothing you can do to me. <laughs> that my family has not, you know, they have tried worse. And you, you know, you trying to provoke me, antagonize me is not going to get me. It might piss me off a little bit, but, you know, I'm not going to let you steal my shine. It's not going to stop me from doing what I need to do. Because I know what I'm doing is bringing blessings to people's lives. Having them look at life in a totally different way. Like, I have to keep, keep telling myself, this is something I had to heal from. My dad wants me to be happy. Yes, he's even told me in certain songs, you, you know, uh, you have to heal from this. He wants me to be happy. He wants, you know, he wants to see me be happy. And I had to, it really took a minute for me to have to feel that my pain had served its purpose because I wouldn't have known who I was. You know, I, I gained strength from places I never thought I would be able to. There's days I didn't want to get out of bed. There's days I cried my eyes out. There's days that, you know, um, I took a bottle of pills and thought I was going to go, you know, just for me to be be able to go with my dad because I wanted him that bad just to wake up just to have a, a week high <laughs> from pain pills just taking them yes I've done that but you know that's not the way he wanted me to live that's not the way I was going to get a connection with him but me going through all that dark time it took me to say now when I can sit up here and say now I can honestly say I'm glad I went through these things it makes me grateful it makes me appreciate life a lot more because people struggle to breathe and live every day. People had plans for yesterday. They didn't wake up. People had plans for, you know, tonight, but, you know, died today. You know, just like I'm trying to tell y'all about Luke Perry. I prayed, but I knew in my heart something wasn't right, something going up with that. But, you know, I just hope for the best. But then just to see that right before I started this video up again, you know, kind of threw me off. But just knowing, you know, we can be put in a better place, knowing that, you know, the pain that you have experienced in life, 
you know, it, it can be some really bad things that you have really endured in life. And for that, I am truly sorry. But knowing you can grieve off of that situation and just say, you know what, I'm not going to allow this to affect the rest of my life because life is too short. It's not meant to be staying in darkness and depression and sadness. It's, it's meant to be able to appreciate looking at flowers, you know, being able to go out and breathe in the fresh air, to be able to thank God that you are able to wake up, you know, another day because you know that universe and God is not finished with you yet if they still, you know, got got you to wake up and you know and you can sit up here and see that your pain has a powerful purpose to it like I tell you your experience the story of your life you never know what the next person you can tell somebody you went through stuff you know you always can sit up here and say yeah you complain about things but you have to be actually appreciative about the things you also have in life being grateful for what you do have you might not you know be where you're at right now but if you're working towards that and you can be a you know be grateful for the things that has been placed in your life it may not be much but when when god and universe sees that you appreciate just the little things in life bigger things start coming towards your way and if you realize that you know this situation that you've been placed in is no longer a, it shouldn't affect you like it should yeah it's gonna take a minute for you to get over it but knowing if you're working towards trying to get over this and not keep dwelling on it over and over again letting the ego get the best of you then you know better things are coming your way and you just be amazed the more you put faith in your that things are going to change the quicker you can get yourself out of it so i hope you are able to resonate with the content of this video um much love to all let me give a uh, post notification shout out um let me see who i want to give a shout out to today uh uh, Lauren 376, Ja for Life, Donna Hardy, and um, Damian Krause, much love to you, and Wendy Lopez, my girl, much love to you as well. And I will see y'all on my next video. Like and subscribe, even hit that notification bell, drop me a line or two. I would love to get the f positive feedback and share the video and hit that notification button. And don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you on my next one. Peace and be wild.